Hello everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man here. In today's episode, we are looking at a brand new game from a man named Lamont. He high-end me, and he said, Hey, I have a new game. Will you show it on your channel? I said, I'd be more than happy to. And he sent it down to me, and this is the review of... Your Opinion Doesn't Matter, the ultimate debating game. It is a brand new game, and what you do is you have a moderator. The person to the left of the moderator decides who they want to debate against. Each side has 30 seconds to debate their case, and all the other players that were not involved get to vote who had the better case. Whoever wins gets a card. First player to four cards wins. Let's head on over to the gamer's table. I'm going to show you how to play. Your opinion doesn't matter. The ultimate debating game. Here we are at the gaming table. Your opinion doesn't matter. The ultimate debating game. So here we are. We have the instructions, which is really nice. It's real short and right to the point. A one-page sheet of instructions. It also comes with these seven different categories that come in the game, or different uh, debating areas. It'd be entertainment, sports, politics, sex and lies, social matters, the isms, and for it or against it. I'll go ahead and give you an example of one of each. I went ahead and pulled one of each out of here. Like entertainment, what you would do is country music versus R&B. Now how this works is you have a moderator who would actually pick a card. And it depends on, you can either play one of two ways. You can either pick whichever one, whichever category you want to choose. Or maybe you can just mix them up. And then you can take one off the top and that's the category that you guys would debate. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. The person to the left of the debater, uh, I'm sorry, of the moderator, is the person that's going to choose who they want to debate with. Then each side will pick up, the moderator will pick up the time, uh, flip it upside down, and each side has 30 seconds. So after the 30 seconds is up, then the other player, this flips over, and the other player debates their side. After the 30 seconds is done, both sides have concluded their debate, all the other players that were not involved in the debate would go ahead and place a vote. Who do you think had the better debate? And whoever wins that debate would grab this card and place it in front of them. And the first player to four cards wins the game. So let me go ahead and show you, like I said. Entertainment would be country music versus R&B. That would be one of them. For sports, I chose which college football program is the best ever. So I can imagine... Uh, yeah, that's going to be very interesting, especially if you have a lot of college uh, football fans out there with your friends group. That would be, uh, yeah, that would be, I think you need more than 30 seconds each for that one. <laughs> but that would be a fun one to go over. Politics, if you were a politician, what issues would you focus on? So that would be a very interesting debate going back and forth. Sex and lies, would you go through your partner's phone if you think they were cheating? Ooh, ah, very interesting stuff. Social matters, is it, import, is it more important to be liked or respected? Now, that would be a very interesting debate amongst friends there. You also have the isms. This is, can you, grow, can you outgrow narcissism? Now, that would be an interesting uh, debate topic. And then finally, you have for it or against it. Now, when this card comes up, what one player will do is they're going to go ahead and roll the die. All right, we have a for it and against it. You're going to go ahead and, well, let me go ahead and get the lid here. So what you would do is you take it, you roll the die, it says for it. So whatever this is, you're going to be for it. In this case, it's a college education. So in this case, whoever rolled for it would say, debating why you should have one, and then the other side would have, obviously, talk about why you shouldn't have to have one. So that is pretty much the game. Um, like I said, the first player to four cards wins the game. Each player gets 30 seconds to debate their topic. After each player has had their 30 seconds, all the remaining players that were not involved in that debate do a vote. Whoever wins gets the card. And that, my friends, is the game. Oh, I put the lid right here. I was looking for the lid. Your opinion doesn't matter. The ultimate debating game. Now let's head on over to the game room, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Mm. All right, so my final thoughts on 
your opinion doesn't matter. You know, this would be a really fun party game. Uh, especially, I think this is the kind of a game that the more players you have, the better the game is. Because if you only have maybe two other players, and they're kind of discussing amongst each other, when maybe you might have a ten-player game, where you're going to have eight other people, or seven other people, because you have the moderator, and then you have the two people that were debating, you have seven other people talking amongst each other, trying to do a vote, who they think win, won that debate. So I think the more players you have in this, the better. I think the toughest one is for it or against it, because... Say there's something that you are against, and then you rolled for it, and you're like, oh, I have to go against what I think. Okay, that would be kind of tough to do. So that would be, and, that, and just a roll of the die, whether you're for it or against it, whatever the subject matter is. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I think it's a great idea. This makes for a great party game. Um, your opinion doesn't matter. The ultimate debating game. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching my review. And until next time, everybody. Happy gaming.